Reporting live from the rec room in downtown Toronto, it's live from last week episode 90, let's go! Welcome my fellow tier walkers to another episode of Live from last week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So this morning while I was commuting home from my night shift at work, I saw something in particular that caught my eye outside the mini's window. That's right, this yellow thing that's driving out on the roads right now was a real live and in person yellow school bus. Which actually reminded me that today, for a lot of students, is their first day of school. So, in honor of today, I got my brand new tie on, my gray uniform shorts, a matching pair of gray uniform socks, and my brand new used doggy backpack. It also reminded me of what the wife and I did posing for our first day of school back in 2019, right before the pandemic. And throwing back to the last time I used my special changeable sign in a previous Live From Last Week episode, today I was able to change it for the first day of school of 2022. Also signifying the time that people usually take the first day of school pictures. But first, let me take a selfie. Hashtag grade 9 plus 20. But yeah, in celebration of today, as well as a reminder of what I got in the mail, I bought a two-year membership to the Ontario Science Centre, which also includes, upon my admission, two free tickets for kids 12 and under to come join me for a visit to the Science Centre. So guys, if you want to come along and bring your kids with us, feel free to post a comment in the comment section below. And we'll set up a day sometime in the near future so that we can all go and visit the Ontario Science Center. And while on the topic of science, of back when I was actually in high school, taking a picture with the legendary Dr. Yorick. As well as to the time almost a month ago when I was at the airport in Valley, taking another picture of one of Dr. Yorick's long lost Indonesian cousins. Now try to tell me that you guys don't see the resemblance between these two pictures that are definitely related. Anyways, it's time to pack my new knapsack and get ready for Jackala, Bradshaw, and Geary's science classes. For a second, I forgot that it's not actually 2007. But yeah, back to reality and being an adult. Tonight, I'm going back in to work my second of my three night shifts in the middle of a stretch of doing six shifts in seven nights take off this school uniform, change into my work scrubs, forget about this little period where I was dreaming that I was dressed up going back to high school, and I'll just see you guys again tomorrow. Last night while driving the wife to work downtown, comparing videos to how this area actually looked like a couple episodes back, I took an updated close-up progress video of just how that new Sick Kids Hospital bridge is looking like right now. And another thing about last night, looking at the times that I had first level parking spots at work in the past, guess who set a new high score slash record for being able to park the Mini at the parking spot closest to the entrance gate? I mean, last night I parked only one, two, three spots from the entrance. And in doing so, probably saved about 30 seconds in my walk from the parking garage in to work. But anyways, today, during the day, after getting my post-night shift sleep, I was able to work on some live from last week footage for the episode that comes out on Friday before I go in for my third of my three night shifts set for tonight. And so, before I go in for work, I have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my friends that I made playing beach volleyball with in Rob's group back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Khaled. Happy birthday, Khaled. Next up, a birthday shout out to a friend that I made several years ago, back when I visited Cuba at Breezes del Caribe. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Katie. Happy birthday, Katie. And now, a birthday shout out to one of the most bubbliest cousins I could ever ask for, always laughing and smiling all the time. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Eliza. Happy birthday, Eliza. 
I'm hoping that all my friends and family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So just before we start off with today's segment, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of the most fiercest competitors in the history of the Flip Olympics. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Joe. Happy birthday, Fuji. The next birthday greeting I have is for one of my elementary school friends back at Mother Teresa, remembering playing foot hockey with him during recess. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Derek. Happy birthday, Derek. And last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to one of my cousins. One of the most talented barbers I know, who I featured in the Live From Last Week episode, back when he did my haircut for my wedding. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Andoy. Happy birthday, Andoy. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Back to earlier today, when unbelievable enough, for the second day in a row, before my night shift, I was able to find yet another ground level parking spot. I mean like, this just must be my lucky week. Anyways, when I got home from night shift this morning, I remembered later on tonight, there was an event similar to the neon night bike ride that I did a couple months back that I really wanted to take the wife with me to. But the wife was insisting that she had lots of housework to do therefore unable to attend the bike event with me later on tonight. So after taking a quick two hour post night shift nap, really wanting the wife to come with me to the event tonight, I started doing one household chore after another, after another, and another, and another, plus another one, keeping it going with another one, and yet another chore, after another, after another, and another, and another, and one more. Hoping that when the wife wakes up this afternoon, all the chores will be done and she'll be able to attend the bike event with me. But unfortunately, after taking her post night shift nap, her decision was still final. And after finishing her set of three night shifts last night, she just wanted to stay home. But while on my phone, I was looking on Ticketmaster as well as my friend Jagger's website, which is Karma Tickets, a place where I previously purchased some tickets in the past. And comparing prices between Ticketmaster and his site, I spontaneously shelled out some money, got some half price tickets, and lo and behold, tonight I'm going to the Elton John Farewell Yellow Brick Road Tour concert. So this evening, quickly, I'm going to a local hotspot for food, getting some of my sushi takeout, then heading straight to the Rogers Center to catch the Elton John concert tonight. So, what do you think? It was great! Elton John concert, farewell tour. Spontaneous vibe. <laughs> After catching up on an amazing high score of over 10 hours of sleep last night, I'm still in awe and in shock that the wife did not kill me for interrupting her one day of rest in between her set of six night shifts. Randomly buying tickets to the Elton John concert last night. But I do think that she really enjoyed me taking her out on a spontaneous date night. Anyways, if you guys can recall from last week, 
I can't believe it's already been a full seven days since we all gathered as a family and enjoyed the celebration of my little cousin Eliza's 18th birthday debut. I mean like time is just flying by so fast. And on just a little sentimental note, when I just started out my career fresh out of university, I had several opportunities to work away from home. Maybe thinking about opportunities doing travel nursing or even joining the Canadian Army. But I remember I didn't want to explore those options for the fact that it would mean that I would miss seeing my little cousins, nieces, and nephews grow up. And after attending Eliza's birthday last week, watching her grow up from that young little girl that I remember, it reminded me that this has come full circle and that I have followed through with that goal. Also recalling how in the present moment, I'm enjoying my time spending with a couple of my other nieces and nephews makes me want to continue staying in Toronto and watch these little ones grow up as well. Anyways, it's back to reality and back to the grind tonight, starting again with a set of three night shifts. But before I go to work, I have a quick birthday greeting to one of my former co-workers back at the BBG summer camp. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Steven. Happy birthday, Steven. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So last night while commuting to work, we heard an interesting story about a house in Toronto. And with this story, let's play a game similar to The Price is Right. So check this out. There's a three-story property in Toronto that's very modern looking, renovated approximately 1,700 square feet, but only eight feet wide, and has this very special feature, your very own throne right at your bedside inside your bedroom. So would you guys like to guess how much a place just like this would cost on the market? And don't worry, I'll give you guys a couple of seconds to lock in your answers. Let's give you a couple of the options. And the final number, believe it or not, is this one. To say that market prices in Toronto are just outrageous is an understatement. Anyways, before my brain explodes just trying to comprehend these Toronto housing market prices, and before I go in for my second of my three night shifts tonight, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. With the first birthday shout out going out to one of my beach volleyball friends who I've played with for several years now. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Ken. Happy birthday, Ken. Next up, a birthday greeting to a friend that I made at Wysik through my other friend, Adam. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Tushar. Happy birthday, Tushar. And last but not least, a birthday shout out to my ate, who I'm remembering the first time I visited her in the Philippines, treating me out to my very first Saima burger. This birthday greeting goes out to you, ate Shah. Happy birthday, ate Shah. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So this afternoon, after taking a decent post night shift nap, since I'm still in the middle of a stretch of several night shifts, on weekends like this, I truly find it difficult to attend regular Sunday mass. So this afternoon, I opened up my laptop and streamed today's Sunday mass from home as an alternative. And once mass was over, I recalled that last night I reopened my Groupon app. And since I was on it for the first time in a long while, Groupon had actually gave me several promo codes, which I then had utilized to go on a mini shopping spree. So if any of y'all are interested in meeting up with me so I can take you out to one of these Groupons that I purchased, make sure to reach out and make a comment in the comment section below. Otherwise, I'll just have way too many Groupons in my account that I'll have no other option but to spoil the wife on another date night in the future. Also, earlier today, I checked out my mailbox for the first time since I went on vacation. And as packed as this mailbox may be, I did receive a package of something that I forgot that I ordered a couple weeks back. So let's go check out what this baby is.
And so, if you guys don't already know what this mystery package might be, it's a brand new toy to make one of my beer or champagne bottles into a beer or champagne gun. Man, I can't wait to use this baby next week. As well, if you guys haven't noticed yet, today I'm wearing my Get Shift Done shirt because I'm finally going in for my last night tonight, my sixth shift in seven days. But before going to work, I have several birthday greetings for you guys today. We have a couple of birthday greetings from some of my elementary and high school friends. Back from my days at Mother Teresa all the way to my days at HT. We got birthday shout outs to Christian. Happy birthday, Christian. A birthday greeting to Rebecca. Happy birthday, Becky. Another birthday shout out to Justin. Happy birthday, Book. And a birthday greeting to Melissa. Happy birthday, Missy. We've also got some birthday greetings to a couple of my coworkers as well. A birthday greeting to an RT that I know, Keddy. Happy birthday, Keddy. And last but not least, I have a birthday shout out to a buddy of mine who I've gone with to Blue Jays games several times this summer. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Robert. Happy birthday, Robert. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So I don't know if you guys know about my Duolingo language learning habits, but while at work last night, I got a notification that evidently over the past week, this guy didn't get enough language learning experience points, not doing enough lessons over the week to stay in the top tier Diamond League. So unfortunately, this week, I dropped down to the Obsidian League. But luckily for me, I was able to use some gems or accumulated points to buy myself a spot back into the Diamond League. But I'm hoping with the next week coming up, without having any book shifts for myself, I'll be able to study a little bit more Spanish on Duolingo and finally win my Diamond League title. But yeah, anyways, after my night shift was over, while on the commute home, just look at who we saw trying to cross the street, jaywalking at a live intersection. This poor little lost Toronto trash panda. Oh my gosh. But after getting home and sleeping post night shift for just a couple of hours, while driving through the Scarborough rain, as you guys can see here, I dropped off the wife in North Scarborough to get a quick chiropractic appointment before we got some dominoes. Pizza delivery! Okay. Of which, on our empty tummies, really enjoyed back at the condo. But yeah, as you guys can tell, tonight I'm on a nice and empty Go Transit Go Train car. I'm off to downtown Toronto to go check out with a couple of co-workers a nice social night out at the Rec Room. And as per usual, just like how you guys can tell by that music video, it was yet another successful and fun event with the co-workers. But before we wrap it up for the night, we have a couple of birthday greetings for a couple of Jay Walker POV viewers out there. With the first birthday greeting going out to one of my FCAR friends who used to always jam out on the piano. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Michael. Happy birthday, Michael. 
Next stop, a birthday greeting to one of my friends back at St. Stephen's who was an all-around great athlete. This birthday shout out goes out to you Peloso. Happy birthday Nick. And last but not least, I got a birthday greeting to one of my friends who I took to a Blue Jays game in the past as well as who I attended one of their concerts with a couple years back. This birthday shout out goes out to you Hanley. Happy birthday Han Han. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Anyways, I think it's finally time to wrap up this busy and jam-packed episode. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.